Hi guys, this is Lisa at Quilting in the Valley, and I'm going to do some clamshells today. This is part of um, our little video series on how to use the Westerly sampler set ruler. So we're going to do the clamshells. So this is my clamshell ruler. This is the large clamshells, and then of course these are the small ones. I'm going to work with the large ones right now. I have my stable tape on both sides, so it's not going to slip on me. I have drawn a straight line, and that straight line is what I'm going to use to start with. So you'll see there are lines going across this ruler. This top line right here is what I'm going to line up against the line that I drew. And then the foot just fits into the little groove there with the clamshells. I have my quilting needle on. I have my foot down to where it's not depressing the sandwich, but it's just skimming it. And my feed dogs are down. And I already brought my bobbin thread up. So I went around the first hump, and around the next one, and now I just move the ruler over, and I'm keeping this line on the ruler on my drawn line. And I'm going to do one more, keeping that line still lined up on that drawn line. I'm going to stop right at the top. So there's a line that goes right through the hump of the clamshell, the top of it, and I stopped right at that line. Now when I take my ruler and push it up against the foot, that line in the hump now comes right down into the V from my previous stitching. I'm going to take that top line there that I had lined up on the straight line, and I'm going to line it up on my stitch line at the top of my previous clamshells. So this part right here is lined up with this line. And now I go back the other way. I have my hands flat. Move the ruler over, keeping that top line there lined up with my previous stitch. And then the hump is lined up with the V. And I'm coming around. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a, uh, a half. So I end up up the top there. Push my ruler up and just do the exact same thing again. So you see that my line is the top of the hump goes now through the V. My top line is on my previous stitch line. And that, you guys, is how easy it is to do clamshells. That's all there is to it. You do the same thing on the small ones. I'll show you some other things to do with them in a later video. But that's enough to start with. See you next time.